Inherently, all of us are habitual in creating labels, not just for others, but also for ourselves. Labels are what you call yourself in your head. They are like tags that you attach to yourself to describe who you think you are. Tags such as fat, ugly, unlucky, boring, weird, nerd, the list can be endless and sometimes very creative. One of my clients has described herself as a freak. But you know what? You could be labeling yourself even without realizing it. And that makes a huge impact on your self-esteem. So if you're conditioned in labeling yourself, then this video is going to be helpful to you because I'm going to teach you how you can convert your negative labels into positive ones. Let's get started. Hey there, my name is Aparna. I am a certified coach and every week I bring to you tips, tricks, tools and hacks that can help you upskill your life. And if this interests you, do consider subscribing to my channel. And while you're there, do not forget to press a bell icon so you're notified every week when I post a new video. We're talking about tools for life all this month and one of the powerful tools that can make or break your life is labeling. We create labels because we think that it keeps us safe and sometimes we use it to make sense of the world around us. But is that really healthy? It's important we understand what is the kind of labels that we give ourselves because there are both positive as well as negative labels. Positive labels basically elevate you while negative labels actually bring you down and that can really make or break your life. So if you're giving positive labels to yourself then good for you however if you're giving yourself negative labels then this is what you can do number one watch yourself the kind of labels you are repeating in your sentences are you saying i'm fat too often or are you saying i'm unlucky too often just notice what is the negative label that you are constantly repeating in your sentences Step number two is that you give reasons to why you're giving that labels to yourself. Why do you call yourself fat? Why do you think you're unlucky? Or why do you think you're boring? Figure this out and then understand what is that label serving you? What kind of a purpose is it serving you? Is it helping you elevate your life? Is it helping you get down in your life? What is it? Is it helping you feel pity about your own situation or yourself? You need to really identify the reasons why you are giving yourself those negative labels in the first place. Number three is you write down the sentence as it appeared in your head. For example, I am fat because of XXX reasons. I am unlucky because of XXX reasons. Step number four is that you now deliberately convert these negative words into positive words. For example, if you're feeling unlucky, replace it with a word that suits or makes that sentence into a positive. For example, I am lucky because of XXX reasons. I am curvy instead of fat. You can use curvy saying I'm curvy because of XXX reasons. So you are basically taking a negative sentence and converting it into a positive sentence. Now the labels continue to remain. You have to give yourself or feed yourself the positive sentence repeatedly so that the negative word like fat or unlucky can convert into a positive word. Now use these positive words and create affirmations out of them. For example, you can say something like, I am unique, I am special, I am loved, and I have the power to make myself happy. I am unique, I am special, I am loved, and I have the power to make myself happy. Repeating such affirmations will help you transform your negative labels into positive ones. To help you in creating such affirmations, I spoke about an affirmations kit in my previous video. So go check it out and make your own affirmations. I'd like to conclude with this quote. The inner speech, your thoughts can cause you to be rich or poor, loved or unloved, happy or unhappy, attractive or unattractive, powerful or weak. Do you create negative labels? And is that affecting you? Do let me know in the comment section below or you may reach out to me in any of the social media platforms that I'm in. 
Thank you so very much for watching. I hope you find this video resourceful. Do hit a like button if you do. Share it with your friends who you think need to hear this. And of course, do not forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't done it already. Subscribe and also hit a bell icon so you're notified every time I post a new video. I'll see you next week. Until then, take good care of yourself. Bye.